What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford states that Errol Spence fighting Danny Garcia at this stage in his career is a true test after the car accident. As you guys know, late last year, Errol Spence was involved in a very bizarre car crash where no bones were broken but several teeth and, you know, a lot of lacerations and God knows what else, okay? But no broken bones, okay? As far as we know, no fractures. And Errol Spence states that he does not want to tune up. He wants to go back in there and continue his career like normal. No tune-ups. Now you look at that <clears throat> and you look at Errol Spence doing going right back there you know, it's such a temptation to have a built-in excuse because at the end of the day, if he goes in there and then Danny Garcia beats him, we're always going to wonder what, what what type of fight would have been if he didn't get have the wreck, you know. But it does show a lot. It shows a lot of gratitude and confidence that you are still who you say you are before going in there and taking in the tune-up or on a tune-up. And I think that Danny Garcia will be that true test. Why? Because Danny Garcia can crack. He's never fought a guy like Danny Garcia before. A guy that never went to the canvas. Okay, so if a guy that never went to the canvas and you're going at a guy like that and you know Sean Porter gave you hell and Sean Porter went 12 rounds with this guy, Danny Garcia, what do you think that Danny Garcia is going to do to you? Maybe a hell part two. However, you know, this is the true test because we will know as soon as Errol Spence gets hit what type of condition he really is, what condition his condition is in, okay? Because he still have a condition. He's still untested. He's still experimental at this point. So him going right back out there saying, hey, I'm ready. I can do this. But then guess what? If he beats Danny Garcia, what's the first narrative's going to be brewing up? Despite the injuries that Errol Spence had, he was still able to dismantle Danny Garcia. That will be the, then he could be called a savage at that point, you know, because then he was able to come back at adversity through a life-changing car accident. And I hope it was a life-changing car accident. But if you can do that and then focus and get that fight you need with a top fighter and beat that top fighter, you'll be doing something very, very special. And it also shows that, hey, I'll take fights like this on. It could be a bad thing one day. But then again, this could be too because they haven't fought yet. you know. But I do agree with Bud Crawford that this will be a true test for Errol Spence, especially being handicapped or supposedly handicapped to a certain degree. But anyway... That's my counterpunch on <clears throat> Errol Spence Jr. You guys tell me what you think about Terrence Crawford's comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.